What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel for another video today. I'm actually in like South Miami today and I'm on a canal system that has peacock bass and a lot of the super exotic cichlids like the Midas cichlids and the spotted tilapias. Oh, I thought it's an airplane. I thought there was a jet ski behind me. Um, which I'm pretty sure jet skis are banned on most of these waterways down here. The freshwater ones anyway. Down in Miami, there's some nice cichlids that we just passed there. They basically seem to be all, on all the corners. So um, I've got a loaf of bread, which is what I uh, was taught to, you know, catch these cichlids on. And, uh, and then I've got a bunch of artificial baits also to try to catch some peacock bass while I'm down here. So the water is crystal clear. Well, I guess it's pretty clear. Way, way clearer than I'm used to anyway back home. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of weaseling our way through. We're going to try to get to an open area that I saw on the map. And basically what I did was, you know, um, if you want to come down and try to catch peacocks, you can do two things. You can try to tackle it by yourself, look at Google Maps, find some locations that are public, um, and then, you know, and then go fish them obviously or you can come and just make it real easy on yourself book a trip with me have a great time and um and that's what i do i am a full-time fishing guide if you guys didn't know and i will have my website in the description box below if you guys do want to book a charter i don't think i'll be doing a uh charters down in this location where i'm filming today but it's still the same thing for peacock bass and uh, the best time to come down here and do it is going to be april uh, you know, February to June is really the, the hot zone, but April seems to be my favorite month for springtime fishing. So enough about all that. Let's jump into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, don't, forget to, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button for me if you guys are enjoying the video. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys at our first, excuse me, at our first fishing spot. Oh my God, I am so excited. Wait till you guys see what I just got. I had to stop recording because, oh man, he's so beautiful. Oh my God, wait till you guys see this. He's a big one too. Oh my goodness gracious. Man, I have wanted to catch one of these things for a long, long, long time. God, he's a giant too. They got some little teeth, don't they? Wait till you guys see what I just caught here. Oh man. God, what a reward for working all day. Look at that guy. That is just amazing. Get the little hump on the head. Um, wow, that's just amazing. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and finally got the opportunity to do it. Um, I'm just going to put him in the live well just for one brief moment. And I want to get a nice photo of myself with him. So I'm just going to put him in here. He'll be completely fine. So what I've been doing here is I'm throwing, it actually just came off when I took it off. I'm throwing these little white, let me make sure it's in the frame there, these little white grubs. And uh, that was a Midas cichlid that I just caught or some kind of variation of a red devil cichlid. I cannot believe I just caught that thing. So I've been out here, I don't even know, it's not 1051, my trolling motor's wrong. It's 12.51, so almost one o'clock. I've been out here since 9 a.m. and uh, I've seen a bunch of these cichlids out here. There we go, sorry guys. And uh, basically all I've been doing is just, you know, casting out those little grubs and I brought a loaf of bread with me also. And I've been kind of chumming them up with the, with the bread and they'll eat the bread and then when you throw the grub, they would turn on it, so um, I finally got one to commit to the grub, which is amazing. And uh, I'll have, it's just a bat, it's the Bass Pro brand. Um, here, I'll show you again what it looks like. Let me put it back on the, on the jig here to show you guys. I don't know if, there's about a dozen of those fish next to me here. I don't know if I can get them to eat again. Well, I didn't really rig it. I'm going to probably end up throwing this one away, but that is what it looks like there. It's just got a single little, like, I don't know, some kind of end of the tail there. 
and uh, I was just kind of letting it fall real slow and then I would just kind of pick it up real slow but it seemed they would eat it on the drop only. Um, this is, I was, like I said, this is something I've been wanting to do for a real long time coming down here and doing this. There's only a couple of places in Miami that have the real clean water that they like and also that way so you can spot them. Got him again. On the bread that time. On the bread. Ooh, this is a big fish. What is this? It ain't no cichlid. If it's a cichlid, it's gonna be a world record. Oh my God, it's a gigantic tilapia. Gigantic tilapia. Like the biggest one I've ever caught in my life. Holy cow, he's gotta be five pounds. Good grace. Well, our day just turned around for us. Holy smokes. This thing's huge. It could feed a family of four. God. Let me get him up here for you. Goodness gracious. Oh my God. That thing is nuts. Look at how big this fish is. Oh yeah, stay up. Do you have sharp teeth? Oh yeah, you do. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Calm down. Calm down, sir. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay. We got you. We got you. Look at, look at the size of this freaking tilapia. This is one of those blue Zare tilapias. Caught them on a piece of bread on the little jig head, eighth ounce jig head. Look at that freaking thing. Oh my God. Talk about an exotic species. Goodness gracious. Whew. Yeah. Well, that'll do it for you, huh? I'm gonna set this guy back in the water really quick. Go back to the Midas who I was letting relax in my live well for a moment. We're gonna release this guy and then we're gonna release the, uh, the Midas cichlid. Good God, that thing is humongous. I'm gonna get an Instagram story of this guy. Do not ever doubt the bait finesse system, even when it comes to exotics. There we go. They don't call me Johnny Exotic for nothing, you know? Let me get uh, my other little underwater camera out and I'm gonna get a little release on that Midas cichlid. cool we checked out two species right there i mean i've caught those big tilapias before like that not that big though that was probably my biggest blue zare tilapia but that was definitely my first ever midas cichlid um i've been with some folks when they caught them and uh actually who i learned how to do all this from is a guy named hi trong he's a guy down in miami a land-based guide mostly and uh, he specializes in the midas cichlid so if you guys want to try to catch these guys, I'll put a link in uh, the description for his website and how you can contact Hi. But uh, that's who taught me how to do this. So, Hi, if you're watching this, thank you for teaching me because I just finally got one. Um, all right, well, I guess we're going to kind of just keep cruising along. All I'm doing is just cruising the bank. And, uh, I mean, we are so far south of Miami. I think I'm like I'm probably 20 minutes to Key Largo. That's how far south I am. But um, it paid off. I'm very happy. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going on and keep chumming up with the bread and throwing the grub. I would like to try to get another one on the grub. That was really cool. Or, you know, if that doesn't work, like it's been spooking a lot of fish, then maybe I'll just put a, a little piece of bread on the jig head. That seems to work really good too. So enough talking, let's get back to it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, got him that time. Little peacock. Just uh, came up and I'm fishing right next to a spillway. Got a nice little peacock on that little Rapala lipless crankbait that I was using um, earlier today that I didn't get any bites on. And where are my, there they are. Got the trusty Danco premium, or these are not my premiums, these are just regular Danco aluminum pliers. And uh, they do just the trick for these peacocks. And we'll get the first one out. And this guy managed to get if you're gonna handle some of these fish with a glove, I would recommend getting the glove wet first. Let's see. Oh yeah, gonna need new hooks after this guy. Okay, I was afraid to grab him if he was gonna fall. This guy is the most pale fish that I've seen today um, for a peacock. Anyway, I've seen a bunch of peacocks. They've all been super lit up. I'm just gonna chunk this guy back and uh, try to get another one here. Got him. Got a, oh my God, I got a beautiful one. God, he freaking charged it. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, he sucked real well too. I think I'm gonna get him in the boat regardless. Gosh, these things are just giants. Oh man, he's got sharp teeth. These things are just giants. Freaking giants. I can't believe I got another one. This is like the equivalent of catching like what I would consider a, uh, like a bonefish. Cause these guys are so skittish. But man, when you present the bait the way that they want it, man, it is game on. There you have it. That's a beautiful fish right there. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Let me get this hook out of his mouth. Oh, he uh, pooped on my backpack, which is fine. backpack so he doesn't decide to poop on it again but look at that guy very cichlid if you guys have ever had like african cichlids uh, in a fish tank this is exactly what they look like they got those real tall pronounced they almost look like a triple tail the dorsal and the anal fin are real pronounced they got the the little trailers on their pectoral fins there let me see if you guys can get a good look at oh that this side's missing actually but that side you can see that trailing piece there. Yeah. That is just awesome. That's just awesome. Wow. That's amazing. I am uh I am very happy and blessed. I think I'm gonna call it a day at this fish. 
I uh, I worked real hard to get the first fish and and then I probably it's been almost uh, two and a half hours since my previous fish so it's um it's definitely been a grind today let me get this fish back in the water really quick it has definitely been a grind today um, but we got the reward that we were looking for and uh, we we're gonna send him home to his family that was incredible there's uh probably about 12 more of those fish up there i don't i'm torn with whether i want to make another cast or not because if i don't get another fish on another cast not that i'm trying to say like oh one cast one fish but if i don't get a fish then i'm gonna feel like the day maybe ended on a bad note so i uh, i don't know what to do i'm gonna sit here and throw some more bread in the water and see if they're feeding on the bread and if they are then maybe i'll take one more shot so far it has been a fantastic day um i haven't even really been peacock fishing i've just been trying to get these midas cichlids kind of dialed in and um i think i might have them dialed in but it's hard to say all right, I think I'm gonna make one more. I think I'm gonna make one more attempt at catching one more fish, and then I think I'm gonna call it a day and go home. It is currently 3:19, and I have a business phone call at four o'clock. So we're gonna try literally maybe five more casts, and then we're gonna roll out. One that sank. Oh, I actually just got picked up. Yes. 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 No way. No way. Oh my gosh, it's a different color one too. Oh my gosh. This one does not fight as hard as the other ones did. Okay. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay. okay. It looks like a Mayan cichlid. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, in the boat. Wow. Holy cow. This one looks like... Okay. You might have to look this up. But if you are ever into fish keeping, this looks like a frontosa or a, uh, dang man, these, these hooks are so sticky, these little ones. Look at that guy. Look at that guy right there. What a great way to end the day. I said I would make about five casts. I made about 10 and uh, I have this much bread left. So we're gonna throw that away. No more bread left. Ow, very sharp on the bottom. Looks just like a Mayan cichlid crossed with a Midas cichlid. How they have those those defined bars there. But look at that thing. Pretty neat. A little bit of a knot on the head there. The Mayan cichlids do not get that hump, so that definitely tells me that it is a Midas cichlid. Um, golly, I love these things. Well, he's pooping on my boat. It's been a great day, folks. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna get this guy in the water. And uh, maybe we'll catch you back in the truck at the boat ramp for a little pep talk after after our video today. It's kind of a shorter one than my normal. He's still pooping. Um, shorter video than normal for me, but uh, you know, going to a new place, learning a new area, and, and trying to find these guys has definitely been challenging. All right, buddy, stop pooping on my boat. I'm letting you go. absolutely amazing day i literally could not ask for more to catch three mitis cichlids today got a few peacocks i didn't even get the first one on camera i didn't even have the cameras out but it was like a three pounder um what else did we get today oh and that big tilapia um gosh it's been kind of a long day like i i've just had to recoup a little bit there's poop all over my boat I found these fish stacked up under a berry tree and what's happening is the berries are dropping into the water and the, the cichlids and there's a bunch of grass carp here too. That's what made me stop at this spot because the grass carp were blowing up on, the, on those berries, which means I'll have to come back and bring a fly rod with a berry fly um, on some like 10 pound test, you know, 10 pound tippet. And uh, anyway, that's what made me stop here, panned out really well, got two two not two two 
more Midas cichlids here uh, in both different colors, like that orange with a little bit of dark in it, and then the very defined uh, like white with the vivid black stripes. I don't know how, what it looks like on the camera versus what it looks like in real life, but very cool nonetheless. I gotta go. I'll catch you guys. Thanks guys.